While others grab a skinny latte and a granary baguette, Crow kills a couple of hours killing pigeons. Do you want to be in the shade, David? He's had a hectic summer with plenty still to do, but he's noticed a few hundred pigeons on wheat stubble on what he calls the dippy field. It was only a few weeks ago we were here protecting the ripening crop from fallow with his ticker T3, but today it's a chance to remind the pigeons it's not a healthy place to be before they move on to his lupins. You might recognise the field, there's a high seat over there. This is where we shot the deer the other day. This was the last field that we cut. There's been a few pigeons getting on it. We started ripping up some of the stubble, so the pigeons are congregated on here. Just going to roll a couple of bales down, make hide just away from the wood so I can shoot some stuff behind me. Bit of a flattish area there, level area, so I'm going to stick some decoys on that and just see what happens. Andy's hide looks good enough to glamp in, oh, and his attention to detail extends to his decoys. Don't ruffle their feathers. But when I want them for decoys, I usually carry them by the tip of the wing. Otherwise, you carry them by the neck, you, you mess up their, their white ring around their neck. If you hold them by the tail, nine times out of ten, that'll fall out, so I always carry them on the tip of the wing. You don't need that for a decoy, so if you carry it by the neck, you mess up the, the ring feathers, you carry it by the tail, there's a good chance it's going to pull the tail out, so. Always carrying by the tip of the wing. So how was your kit today then, David? Lovely. Yeah. Does it work? It's either got flat batteries or crap on the lens. So we had a very good start. You've dragged me off the off of what I was doing to come and shoot some pigeons a bit quick with all your new gear and most of it doesn't work, David. It's just like I can shoot some pigeons. Yeah. Well, that might not work. Well it might do, David. Mine, more chance of yours working. More chance of mine, mine working than yours, David. That's 100% yeah. sure. Right, I must get on. Back to basics today. Yeah, back to basics. Yeah, no electrics. Hazel sticks. I've got a couple of cradles there. Hazel sticks. A few pigeons out the chiller uh, that we shot yesterday. Um, but yeah, three days in a row I've been out now, David. Crow is using this outing as a chance for some pre-game season flight checks, such as trying out some of Game Boy's high-performance game loads or reacquainting himself with the Beretta 692. Over the summer, Crow has been ploughing through the clear pigeon, putting 4,000 shells through the Beretta A400 semi-auto, so needs to literally get back into the swing of things. One. <laughs> we all have lucky shots, David. That's one of them. He's been particularly impressed with the clear pigeon this summer, thanks especially to some new chokes he's had on test, but more about those next time. For today, it's the Dark Storm and the ever popular award winning Black Gold. The new Regal shell is a traditional game cartridge for the lighter gun and it replaces the pure gold range. These are three game loads that. Game board sent me down. These are their high performance game loads. You've got your Regal, which is for your lightweight side by sides. These are more the, the big boy stuff. You've got your Black Gold with your Gordon system, and then you've got your uh, Dark Storm. They're all diamond shot, but me, I'll be shooting long range stuff, so I'll be using either of these two. I like either of these. Crow has asked permission to shoot here because he's right next to the pheasant pens, but at this time of year, Crow says they won't be disturbed. A bit different later on in the season. Once they've been shot out a few times, been chased about, they're on their toes a bit more, but this time of year, I'm doing them a favour really because it's on the boundary, so any pheasants that I do push back, they'll be pushing them back in land so, or back into the shoot, so it ain't a problem. Talking of pheasants, Crow has a couple of invites for some driven days, but one comes at a cost. Um, Jack Pipe Boys sort me out a day, so that's usually modelling as well. So I don't, <laughs> there's always an ulterior motive with uh, with the Jack Pipe Boys. I think they just like seeing me strip off in the middle of a field. So where are these pigeons that we're going to treat as pheasants, pigeons, if you will? You want it? Today. Oh, they help. <laughs> no, they're not decoying very well. But the thing is, I'm shooting really well. Uh, I tell you, what, I just oh, I had a little play with it yesterday, and the trigger pull on this is totally different to the 
the A400, the semi. But I've got to get used to this because game shooting and that. And I've had a had a couple of the first couple I shot at the old gun went off before I was ready. Or before I was full on it. But just touch the trigger and away she goes. But I've, I've got the hang of it now. I've had a few lucky shots today. But no, performing really well, especially with these cartridges. I wish I could afford to use them all the time. So, let's see what's been so the decoying hasn't worked, but the crops full of lupins give us the reason why. Andy has just sprayed them off and the wheels of the tractor have split some pods. Happy days for the pigeons. It's got wheat, which he's probably picked up earlier. Then we disturbed him. He's cleared off with all his mates. I'm going to eat my lupins. If they want them now, what are they going to be like in a month's time? These are going to go to China. That We've grown them for a seed contract. They've got more protein than what soya's got. They're going animal feed and that. They taste good too as well. Really? Yeah. Do you want to try some though? It tastes like... It tastes like looping. I thought you were shoes as fit as me, David. It's been a very gentle afternoon with some cracking shots and Crow is well on target with his pre-season training. Some of those pigeons I shot today were exceptionally long pigeons and you can remember those but like I've always said you don't go pigeon shooting to make money you go pigeon shooting to enjoy it <laughs>